Good evening. My name is Danielle, and tonight we're going to be discussing the controversies surrounding a dangerous drinking competition, also known as neck nominations. This recent craze has dominated news headlines over the last two weeks, the nominations themselves having claimed two lives in the space of one week. We're going to take you to Joel, who is going to run through what neck nominations actually consist of, and has been talking to a number of students at Upton by Chester High School about where their beliefs stand in addition to the experiences that they have already had relating to this online phenomenon. Over to you, Joel. Thanks, Danielle. Yes, in a matter of days, the topic of neck nominations has taken over the young adult and social media scenes in the UK, bringing with it the deaths of two students, as well as a host of other casualties relating to the dangerous substances which are being consumed, which up to now have included bleach and air freshener, both of which are highly toxic substances. Neck nominations involve people first taking videos of themselves consuming their chosen cocktail of substances, usually a number of which are alcoholic, and then announcing their chosen subjects to take part in the next round of nominations within the next 24 hours before this video is submitted onto social networking sites such as Facebook, where ultimately these videos can be viewed by members of the public on a permanent basis, which the nominee cannot control. UK Charities and Children's Trust suggest that peer pressure in teens is the most likely reason for such a large number of willing nominees to take part. I spoke to a number of students from Upton by Chester High School to ask them about their opinions on this hazardous phenomenon. I think they're a bit, they, they can be a bit funny, but they're a bit stupid when people put like bleach and stuff in it, like unnecessary stuff. Um, I think it's bad because when people get drunk, it causes them to do stupid things after. Do you think that this is encouraging similar behaviour in younger students? Um, encouraging behaviour, I think not. Because people have their own free will to do what they want to do and if they want to do it then that's up to them. Obviously as a school we're very concerned about net nominations and the dangers that our students are putting themselves in by taking up the nominations. We've already run assemblies in school and I've written to parents uh, to warn them of the dangers not only to their health but also to the impact that would have on I mean, if anything happened to any, any of the other students and the impact that might have on them for the rest of their lives. Nomination sounds like a lot of fun on the first hearing for lots of young people, but it's one of those things that you can be feel bullied into, and without knowing it, you can get yourself in a lot of trouble taking substances which could and have killed people. There are many controversial questions to be asked, and a variety of parties up and down the UK, each with their own contrasting opinions. We would like to hear your opinions on the net nominations. Do you have any experiences of your own? What could the future hold for young adults who are caught up in this ever-changing phenomenon? I've been Danielle. Have a good night.